Welcome to the Google Cloud Security Showcase, a special web series where we'll focus on security use cases that customers can solve with Google Cloud. My name is Andy, and I'm a product manager at Google Cloud. Today, we'll be walking through one of the top questions we get from customers. How can I configure a secure by design environment for my cloud deployments? To address your questions about how to build more securely and faster on Google Cloud Platform, we're excited to make two announcements. First, the Best Practice Resource Center, so that there is one place on cloud.google.com for you to go and answer your questions around how to secure yourself on Google Cloud Platform, as well as how Google secures itself. In addition, we've announced the Security Foundations Blueprint, which provides you infrastructure as code in Terraform a full end-to-end -end set of scripts to stand up an organization from Greenfield and encodes Google Cloud best practices and security around your organization structure, your resource hierarchy, your IAM grouping and segmentation, network structure, logging, and detective controls, giving you out-of-the-box encoded best practices for you to use. Our goal here is to enable your teams to meet the advanced needs of your workloads and applications in business without first having to go through the learning of all the advanced skills. So you can get started faster, more securely from day one. To give you a view of what's included in this foundation uh, blueprint, uh, we cover the 13 basic steps to go from Greenfield to a fully deployed, secure, decentric organization. These include the Federation of Identity, the definition of your IAM for segmentation and grouping, definition of key org policies that give you top-down control across all your projects, the setup of shared VPC projects so you can centralize the management of firewall rules across your projects, the segmentation of your different projects into different regions for high availability, the ability to use dedicated interconnect to bring data securely onto GCP, the ability to protect your publicly facing applications through firewall rules and other Google services, the setup of cloud logging so that you have a good event record as well as be able to do detections and forensics in the case of incidents, the setup of the security command center to give you that one pane of glass view across your organization, your projects and resources of your security posture, the setup of the individual service projects so that you can stand up and run the different services for your business, the use of VP service control so that you can create different levels of restricted networks that, so that sensitive data is that much more protected within your GCP infrastructure, and the ability to set up cloud DNS, and then landing you to a place where you have a secured landing zone, and you can start building out your individual applications and resources. You can find the Security Foundations Blueprint in our Security Resource Center, and this can be reached at cloud.google.com slash security slash best practices. Here we provide best practice guides, across not only the foundations, but Anthos and container security, give you a place to find the various deployable blueprints, whether they're the foundations or that they're particular security posture ones, give you the background reference white papers or how we secure things on Google ourselves, as well as things like the Beyond Prod paper, which provide you insight in how you can adopt the cloud native security uh, approach, and then also generalized uh, learning resources around CIS benchmarks, and MITRE threat attack modeling around GCP. The Security Foundations Blueprint is provided as a guide in addition to the automation scripts. The guide itself covers a number of key items and can be used as a step-by-step -step, um, guide for deployment or as a reference. We cover things around the organization structure in detail, resource deployment, authentication, networking, secrets management, logging, detective controls, and billing. If we think about how this translates now into uh, practice, from the Terraform templates that are available, you can go to the Terraform Example Foundations repository, which gives you step-by-step -step deployment from a bootstrapping for infrastructure as code through organization setup, the environments, the networking, and the projects. Um, this translates to an actual organization where you can either deploy it at the organization level, or as we've shown in this case, at a folder level, where you have the Cloud Foundations deployed as a folder. We then have five subfolders, the Bootstrap, which gives you infrastructure as code, the Common folder, which includes things like the building, logging, DNS, interconnect, um, underlying, aggregate, centralized logging across your org, SEC, command center alerts for security, and secrets management. 
and then a production, a non-production, and a development set of environments as folders. Each of these individually then has its own set of shared VPCs. So the production shared VPCs are the uh, restricted and the base, as well as separate uh, folder level centralized monitoring and secrets projects, and then example projects for your different business units if they were to use either the base network, restricted network, or floating, which means that the applications within those type folders need no external connectivity and just rely on Google Cloud services. If we now dive into the IAM structure, we give you pre-built IAM groups with default roles so that you start out with admin groups, billing groups, user groups already with separation of duties built in. We also have established a set of org policies out of the box, things like uh, disallowing public IPs across all your VMs or preventing any user who's not part of your domain to have any permissions or roles or access on your uh, organization. These preventive controls are set up as org policies and we set up a number of these out of the box so that you already start in a more secure way. From a networking standpoint, um, here you can see the three different restricted shared VPCs and security printers that have been set up. One for production, one for non-prod, one for development. If we examine the production one, you'll see we show the examples of projects connected into that perimeter, the services that are specifically restricted, an access level that's already been set up that provides an additional set of policy controls to who to get, uh, can get access to the data in this particular perimeter. And then lastly, we have the Security Command Center set up to give you that uniform view, one pane of glass across your organization of projects and resources for threats, vulnerabilities, compliance, assets, findings, so that you can have one place to look at and examine and manage your security posture. So hopefully these two items, the Best Practice Resource Center and the Security Foundation Blueprints, um, will help you uh, meet your goal of accelerating your deployments on Google Cloud Platforms and increasing the security of those platforms. Thank you for tuning in. Please visit cloud.google.com security for more content from Google Cloud experts. Mm -hmm.